Well, it's this year's Toy Story, a red furry doll that giggles a lot. Tickle Me Elmo is the hottest thing this Christmas. Sold out of stores everywhere. But is it all just marketing and media hype? Here's Jeffrey Kaufman on Elmo Mania. No wonder he's laughing. All the way to the bank, because North America has been gripped by Tickle Me Elmo hysteria. Just ask them in Fredericton, where 48 of the bug-eyed beasts were put on sale at a local Walmart. And one of the clerks was sent to hospital after being trampled in the frenzy. Somebody in the crowd yelled, there's the Elmos, and they rushed us. Or check out your local paper. It's probably crammed with ads from Elmo profiteers. Sunday, last week. This Montreal woman had an offer of $330. She's holding out for $500. Not bad for a $35 investment. And times are tough right now, so you got to do what you can to survive. Yes, there are other Elmos available, keeping the rest of the Sesame Street gang company on store shelves. But if tickling's your fancy, you're out of luck. What have you got there? It's not what I wanted. It's close, but not good enough. What's the big deal about Tickle Me Elmo? Actually, my daughter probably wouldn't know the difference, but uh, it, it's actually I've seen it, and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. This is Sailor Moon, and this is our largest uh, doll category. Toy makers dream of such consumer obsession. Elmo is produced by Tyco. Irwin Toys, a competitor, has had its share of blockbusters. Well, you know, sometimes the best laid plans uh, never happen, and in some cases, uh, the unexpected happens. I don't think there's any question that Elmo is one of these unexpected, pleasant things that happen to toy companies now and then. I'll teach you how to... To some, though, all this tickle talk is more than a tad nauseating. Parents become desperate. We hear desperation in their voice, like, where can I get it? Well, I don't know where you can get it. Move on, choose something else. Because there are so many choices. It's, you know, it's like saying, this is the best. Well, it isn't the best. I mean, there's nothing... A toy, how can any toy be the best? I mean, it's a toy. <laughs> But don't be deceived by that laughter. There might be some tears in there, too, because for all the money the manufacturers have made, they could have made millions more if they hadn't underestimated demand. Oh, boy, that's Jeffrey Kaufman, CBC News, Toronto.